Well, here we go. It's been an incredible year, um, which has been amazing from a team perspective and for you leading up to it. But heading into this, it seems like you want to crest of the wave. You know, fans, spectators, people in the know in the sport seem to all be rooting for you going into this. And your stock's risen. I know me and the Beast have always known that you're a talent. And I think this year it's definitely risen to the top. Thanks. <laughs> How do you feel going into it though? Yeah, a bit nervous, but you know, hopefully my, my form from like World of Shower Race and Mendips will sort of carry on and we'll, we'll give it a good shot. So, yeah. Yeah. Car looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. I know Chris is down there now doing Drews, but just talk us a little bit about the car. Well, to be fair, from, from start to finish, it was pretty plain sailing, but um, got it built, obviously sprayed up and so on, and uh, went, went practicing uh, Tuesday and um, <laughs> it was going fine around practice. I was obviously a bit nervous because it had just been freshly painted and I didn't want to scratch it. But no, it's handling really well, really pleased with it. Um, <laughs> then pulled off the load up on the lorry and the engine went wrong. So we've just had to change it. Um, managed to get it changed last night. So after a few late nights, we're, we're back on. So yeah. Feeling confident? Yeah, yeah, fairly. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, you don't know what's going to happen on the night, but hopefully I'll be able to come through. How do you feel about the fact that you know there's a lot of social media input from everybody and, and what have you, spectators, there's a lot of groups out there as well, which I know you don't really look at too much, but there just seems to be so much support out there for you this year. Yeah, I mean, it, it does feel really nice to see it and hear it though. But like you say, I don't really go on there too much because I don't like reading stuff like that. But um, <laughs> I, go, I go on my phone a lot, yeah, but not, not them sort of things. Um, but yeah, it's nice. No, different sites. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <no. laughs> you put me off now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's you know it's really nice to hear that I've you know we've got some support and stuff. So yeah, definitely open my eyes to like I can do it. You know I can get there if I, when I wanted to. But sorry, can't see it. You know it's it's definitely it was an eye opener for me. But uh, unfortunately, it's not gone right. And it, two weeks on the trot as well, <laughs> exactly a week after. But um, third time's a charm, they say. So, How tomorrow could go. What, what's your thoughts on it? Well, hopefully I'll win it. But <laughs> <laughs> no, <coughs> we've won. Done. <laughs> See you later. No, um, hopefully I, I'll go well. It'd be nice to properly start one because I've, I've done two now and I've not really started any of them. So it'd be nice to get going and even finish it would be amazing for me. Yeah. But the beast set his stall out, didn't he? You know, he said he, he wanted the car. The car was done a week early, but yeah. um, obviously the engine, the engine did blow up at practice, but that's, that's how things go. We, luckily, because the car was ready, apart from that, we, all we had to do is change an engine, so. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Any message for the fans out there? Uh, just thanks for supporting me throughout the year and, and previous years, and sort of giving me the urge to keep going, I suppose, as well as Amp. And we would love to keep this going, but... I have got a shoot for a trim, yeah. Got to have me well final trim. Uh, Brad's just had his, look. Brad? I've got one minute, oh, look, and I've got to go. Talk us through it, Chris, because it, 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 you know, we're all friends as well, which is what I enjoy about it. You know, Kieran, me, you, Beast, apart from Bob and Jack and sometimes Brad. Um, but the car looks absolutely magnificent. Talk us through it. Um, I don't know. I've, I found it quite difficult from last, e last year because yeah. I really like last year's car. Um, and I... I didn't want to theme it with something that everybody knows because it's been done. So, and with the various photo um, people on Facebook, you yeah. just see the pictures through the season of the the boys on the pit crew yeah. and stuff like that. And I just thought it'd be a really good idea. And like the one on the on the boot with the boys and amps yes. standing watching the racing, that's probably my favourite picture of all of them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just searched for a load of pictures, see ones we like, and, and went for that. Really, 
I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I'm not normally always really yeah. happy with it, but I was really pleased with it. And it's not like just coming down the side right, is it? Everyone has a good laugh along along the way. It's um, that helps with this lot yeah because you can do some little things on the car even his engine cover with his yeah. face <laughs> his sense of humor i knew and everybody else loved it i think it's most people's favorite bit is the uh is the engine guard so um but yeah you just have a laugh we can take the mick out of each other yeah. all night long and his progression has been second to none over the last couple of years yeah he's managed to finish a couple of races <laughs> <hasn't he? laughs> <laughs> no, he has, and um, you you can't take it away from him. I just like the attitude. Yeah, it, it's nothing else. It's um, nothing's personal. If you're there, you're getting it. Yeah. And if he's there, he gets it, and everyone's happy. There is no like personal ill feeling with with anybody. So um, that's why I love these lots so much. Yeah, true banger attitude. It's been a good year, very busy year, hard work, uh, getting this man prepared for many races that he's done. I think we've counted nearly 40, yeah. nearly, f I think it's 40 meetings and possibly 45 cars we've done, which is a lot. 
easy easy for him because he's racing them <laughs> but yeah that's definitely been a busy busy year like like all of them but this this year's been definitely one to stand out between all the others i think the fact that obviously him doing so well in literally everything that he's entered you know whether it be two entertainer leagues or any sort of world of show mendips world final the fact that he's done well in all of them has certainly kept everyone going yeah definitely like the response that he gives like with all the crowd and that and then also the attitude from all the facebook and everything complimenting him and also recognizing the team in the pits that that does push you on to do as best as you can and it's an unreal feeling when you get the such positive comments back yeah. from just one man really on the track yeah. making it such big as big as it is and how do you feel when you see him out there in the big races doing so well i mean obviously world of Shale and mendips was don't just... talk about world of Shale. i thought i took him out in that one <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah but he is that does like make you feel a bit nervous when he's out there and he's like leading big races like that bandits won i was shouting inside the car yeah. obviously i only done one lap because steve decided to do my shaft but yeah i I was sat there and I was watching him on the big screen and watched him go past and every single lap I was like getting nervous and then as soon as he won it I was like sort of not in shock but like just so overjoyed for him because of he's wanted that one for so long world of shale that was like watching a, like a film just every time he come past me and Finney was catching him and catching him but he was just still edging it and then I pulled out and all of a sudden he slapped up the side of me and I thought oh dear he's not gonna like me anymore but yeah he's watching him progress how far he has from his first couple that's unreal how far he's come along and it, it does make you feel proud to like be part of the team yeah. to have him as a captain especially a brother it's like it is amazing for his progression yeah and how do you feel about tomorrow night not just the, the chances that he's got because i think we're all you oh, know oh, confident in our own minds oh, of what can happen anything, but just how you he's Obviously, he stands a chance. Everyone stands a chance. It's on the grid, but I think he does edge it, and with his dedication, he he does deserve it. We all deserve it. He does deserve it 100%. And yeah, it would be cool for him to obviously come with the gold, and I think the gold will look good on the car. Yeah. But that will be unreal for him to do it. For he's I think his fourth world final or third, I think. But will be definitely definitely well deserved if he does come home with it and you enjoy going out there racing with him as well we always put on yeah. a show between the I'll, two I'll, I'll, I'll like going out and racing with him because you know for a fact that he's either caused a crash or normally me because i've put myself in yeah. but you know for a fact that the second shot's always going to be harder that you're going to get because that's him going in the back of him and it's good to know you've always got back up when you're out there yeah. like with, with the rest of the team you've everyone don't shy away from a shot is is proper dedication and yeah, it's just so good to be out there with the best of the best and obviously having backup. Yeah. And obviously being part of it is a hell of a lot of work. He keeps us all busy, that is for sure. Yeah, definitely. And not only in the week, but at a racetrack as well. There's not yeah. a meeting that goes past where we're not I just wish Trackstar stopped putting so many formulas on that he can do because <laughs> three cars in one night is a, bit, is a bit much. But yeah, we all do it. We, lo we love it as much as he does and as much as the next person. But we're, we're lucky to have amp in it and give everything he does for us to enjoy it and uh, it's just we we wouldn't be anywhere without him and we're so thankful for him and yeah. everything that we do is revolved around him and yeah. for him but yeah looking forward to tomorrow night yeah hopefully the weather stays off and it's good racing if he finishes he finishes it but he'll love it anyway and we'll we'll love it we'll get it for the next one and hopefully take it back Mildenhall and do some more crashing like last year <laughs> Jack, I've said before, it's been an incredible year. You're a massive part of it. You're normally the man who has to run around like headless chicken fetching tools and, and what have you. And to be honest with you, you will earn a rest by the time you get back in the lorry, but it has been an amazing year. Yeah, it's been an awesome year. Doing all the meetings that we've done, and getting Kieran out, all of us racing together. It's been an awesome year. Obviously, the top of two interlake Taylor League charts means a lot of time in the back here and what have you preparing cars you know talk us about how hard it is and, and perhaps how a working week looks for you oh it's busy yeah some weeks we are flat out doing all of these cars for a free meeting weekend yeah track star <laughs> and then obviously there is a easier weeks when we do one car for a weekend yeah then but it's normally flat out 
Because yeah. if we finish one car, we'll start the next one, get ahead. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, I remember Easter, that's right. Easter weekend was absolutely incredible. The Good Friday with the teams, the Saturday with the East Anglian Championship, Sunday with BWS, and then Monday with the big vans. It was just unreal, you know. It was one of them weekends where I think me and you were just crashing out on sofas. Yeah, we started off by building the old mirrors for, and the Astra for Brad. Then I've pulled a van in, because obviously you was going to do it, but yeah. you couldn't. And then I've sat and went, no, I want to do it now. Yeah. So we had to get two vans again ready. And it was BWS, which was the limo. The limo was partly built anyway, so it saved us a little bit of time. Yeah. And then obviously the Monday and Sunday. Which was just incredible, wasn't it? Was and Panda thing. doing it as well. Yeah, Panda, of course, race as well. But, you know, you must be over the moon, not just obviously working here, but being part of the family as well. It must be, it must mean a lot to you to be part of it all. Being, obviously, we're lucky to all have AMP. We won't be anywhere without AMP. And then Kieran, if we are down, he'll push us forwards. And how are you feeling about tomorrow night? Obviously, it's a, a big night for the, the team in, in general, not just talking about his chances but how much are you looking forward to it? It'll, hopefully it will be a really good night and hopefully he does come back with a nice shiny roof. Hopefully with his odds this year he's going to do pretty well. Yeah. And obviously you enjoy your racing anyway, we talk uh, a lot about racing in, in general and, and you are a, a massive fan of racing to be involved in building cars for probably one of the best in the business at the minute, you, you know, it, it is an incredible achievement for you. Yeah, it's awesome. Getting a race beside him as well is just something else. Yeah. Even as he does try to smash you up. <laughs> Which he has threatened to do, hasn't he? He did actually, until I did actually get my foot stuck. He said, I, was, I lined you up and lucky the red car for you. I'm not used to wear it. But you, of course, have enjoyed a, an interesting year as well, which, of course, Kieran's been a, a massive part of guiding you as to how you Yeah, he'll always tell me if I'm doing certain like lines and that. He said, if you're doing it wrong, he'll tell me to take a different racing line or tell me to put your pressures down a little bit. Thing. you don't like to see anyone do bad in the team. I would say you're probably looking forward to winter with a bit of a break and what have you, but... That's really not going to happen, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep building for next year. We don't stop. Oh, mate, thank you very much, so, Jack. Cheers, mate. Absolutely awesome. Well, there we go, Jack there, giving his insight into how things are going to be looking come World Final Night tomorrow.